All right, now for Gundy's halberd. Yes. Bomb door. Yep. Is Gundy's halberd like a strength dex weapon? Or has it got something fancy about it? Strength dex. Requires more strength and scales better from strength. Okay, so. We need 15 more levels. And champion's charge is its skill. Okay, so that's what its skill is. Cool. What's it actually? Is this a halberd? I've got halberds. Is it way much? Oh, it does. 13. Wow. Boys damage isn't amazing, I'll say that. Doesn't have any fancy critical attack. I, s I don't think any of the weapons so far have had any anything fancy with the crit. They've all been a hundred crit. At least none of them are less than a hundred. <laughs> I would have been pissed if anything was less than a hundred. I mean, to be fair, if it's something less than a hundred, then it wouldn't be worth using the crit, would it? It's interesting how the skill works. It seems like you have to do it from far away for it to act like actually hit properly. Because like the hitbox is at the end of the halberd, it seems. But sometimes you can like go just all the way through an enemy, so there's no hitbox until like the follow-up. Also, how do I do? If I just press it and I hold it. Okay. That's very interesting how that works. This is also a very expensive skill. Mainly because it's a split mainly into two parts. Hey, physical only though. We're about to grind. That's all I'm saying. Also, its durability is so high. Why is it so high? I love how you have the, um... Moonlight Greatsword's durability is 75, and every charge attack uses goddamn 4 durability. And then you have this, which has a durability of 500, 
and after hitting like 10 times with it, it like has lost one durability. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Also, it did not start the timer. Once again. Bloody hell. Really? What the fuck? What the fuck? I locked onto, I was looking at the dude in front of me and I clicked lock on and it turns me 180 degrees and locks onto the enemy behind me. What is this game, man? What the fuck was that? The skill seems to do decent damage. It's a shame there's nothing to boost skill damage. Because it's a unique skill that's cool and I wanted it to be good. But like, I don't know how good it's actually going to be. <laughs> Cut detected. At least the Halberd's move set is like one of the best move sets in the game, in my opinion. The charge attack is something to be desired, but apart from that, pretty good. Such a cool weapon, honestly, this weapon. Like, the handle is really cool, the twisted look of it. A cool looking weapon. Be staggering.
Can you have the same amount of souls as Gundir? I'm surprised. Big? Yeah. I feel like if this would have had a good critical, that would have been cool. Like 110 or something. It looks like it should have a crazy critical attack. In terms of its damage. By the way. Bad idea. I might be dead here. I think I'm dead. If the imp or, either, or this dude gets in front of me, I'm dead. Two forty plus one. All right. Its block isn't guarded, but you don't really block with these. There's no point. Yeah, there's no there's no real point blocking this game because no, no things like guard counters or anything. Interesting. Get the fuck away from me. Absolute creature. Demon baby. <laughs> It's scale plus 71, it's scaling is already fairly decent.
it doesn't seem like its damage goes up too much more. Okay. At 40 strength, it soft caps. <laughs> hmm. Aston Joe, hello. Oh, my frames are so a lot lower. What the fuck? I'm doing good. I don't know about them. Yeah. What's your first attack? No. Should have waited. Mm. It's too late now. I seek so you good? What are you doing? Help me, you bastard. Okay, camera. Uh. Gun there, gun there, gun there. I wonder how much of a boost we get from L Lloyd's ring. Oh, no, Lens ring. A Dark Souls 3 expert. I have like a hundred hours in the game. Not much time for a Souls. Okay, so let's see how much we get. 258 to 240. A seven and a half percent boost exactly. Okay. At that weight. But once we equip more rings, we'll go down a little bit. Mmm, yeah. How hard? I See, I don't know. I've never done NG7. My main save is only like NG2 or something. But I, I don't normally do NG, I normally do challenge runs and stuff, so it's like I always start a new save. Like I have my main save, I always, my whatever save I first did the game with, I always keep that save. But then, you know, I don't really touch it that much. I'll always create a new save to do something on. Why does my frame rate feel so bad? So clunky and what do you want? We can't quit the game because we got invaded by a fucking random ass NPC. <sighs> oh, I wish there was a mod that would disable NPCs. Fuck me, man. No, there probably is. It's probably my fucking monitor, honestly. Wow. How the fuck did you manage that one, Chief? Okay, 
Both of these dickheads did die, right? I just got knocked off in the last bit. We have to wait for this dude. I'm from. See him, he's Come buddy. The rear. Uh, I've completely lost where I was supposed to be going. Yeah, we got we got methods to deal with them. It's a busting out on me. Sweet. Just kind of straight run now. Well, I just play through the main game. I can't one hand it for some reason. I mean two hand it. Oh wow. Skill has no hyper armor. Why does this skill have no hyper armor? Why does this skill have absolutely zil Go away. Go away. Oh my god, I hate this game sometimes. I really fucking do. I know. Well, no, it does increase by 1.5. It increases your strength by 50%. So if you had a weapon that scaled entirely off of strength, it will increase it by whatever that is. I have no idea what it is. Because scaling just... Get the fuck out of the way. That's... Where's my money? What? Oh, this lock on this. You wanna tell me why the fuck this skill is kind of shit? Why is this skill kind of shit? It's actually terrible. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to use this in like an actual fight. The skill is actually terrible. If you do not, you like have to press these two at the same time for it to work, but then it just, whatever the fuck that was. The skill really is not that good. It looks cool and you think it'd be good, but it's just not. So a charge attack, better. More consistent, like. Yeah, see? You have to press R2 like a millisecond after you press L2. Otherwise you don't have to do the follow-up. It's way too inconsistent. Oh my god. Okay, this weapon is not nearly as good as I was hoping. Its reach is good, but that's about it.
Yes, I know I'm of course I know I'm using Gandhi's weapon. But the question is the hat. Motherfuckers called Gandhi's halberd. There's something touching my foot. Y'all aren't gonna chase me? Alright, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Interesting, it doesn't have a two. Okay. It doesn't have two part backstab. Single instance of damage. Boop. Okay. So, 188 and a charge attack does... Okay, the charge attack is just better. Uh, not on normal playthroughs, on certain challenge runs perhaps. Definitely the fist only, I'm doing a fist only run right now. There is, like, because those boss fights are like 5-10 minutes. But my parry only run in Elden Ring was pretty intense. Elden Beast was like a 30 minute fight. Uh, reinforce. Undeer. Hmm. I don't have a second one, did I? Did I have a third one? No. Fist only. Yeah. Bare fist. They're a lot better in this than they are in Elden Ring. <laughs> like, I repost, I could do like 600, 700 damage if I stagger something. Like, it's good in this. Fists are like a viable like method of damage. You can see on the right. Oh, you, wait, you can't. My, my face in the way. The attack power. Okay, at like ninety nine strength, ninety nine dex in Elden Ring, your fist will do twenty five damage. Like your uh, uh, AR will be twenty five. Currently, at what are we? At twenty strength and fifteen dex, we do ninety eight damage. That goes up to 270 at 99 and 99. Fists are like a weapon. Like if I if I like walk up to this dude, I want to go for a backstab. It does damage. Like it's it's does actual damage. Yeah, I'm I'm never gonna get all achievements on this game. Fuck that. I cannot be bothered to farm for the Covenants. I'll do everything else, but I won't farm the Covenants. Can your little fucking little doohickey go away? Alright. Alright. Rid of the weapon. Nice and simple crystal sage fight. Don't ever have to deal with face with weapons that do actual damage. <laughs> Unlike the Moonlight Greatsword, you did literally like no damage to it. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Fucking goddamn. <laughs> uh. 
Clash of Clans or whatever sound nice. Clash for hour, the fuck the game's called. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Does increase. Three damage. That's expected. Borrow that. Please, rather. Good one, spamming this skill three times in a row, it'll get you there eventually. And now I have to deal with the teleporting dogs. Yep. Go. Go. Oh my god. They're still chasing? No? Oh. Stretch. You gonna go now? Alrighty. Thanks for the follow, bro. Shut up, Gale. Gale got me tweaking in the pose like that. <laughs> God damn. Oh my god, the cloud clear cr crowd clearing in for this weapon and the goddamn deacons fight. Out of the way, fellas. Please. Don't make this hard harder than it already is. Right? Oh my god, this is the worst area ever. Why in the fuck? Oh my fucking Christ almighty. This is such a garbage area, holy shit. Away from me. What do you want? A backstab me. Oh my god. Rot in hell. Seriously.
Why is there an imp chain? Where are you from? What the fuck? Where did this imp come from? <laughs> Why is it? <laughs> Bruh! What is it doing? Go away. Go back to your owner. dead it has really good crit this weapon I'm quite like surprised how good this crit is. Okay, we can survive like two more bleeds. Okay, I need you to shut up so I can rest at the fucking. Oh, uh, there's a dude. Where is he? I don't know. It looks like we're dead. At least it's next to the bonfire. Okay, I'll check this out. There's coin. What are we at? 302. That's pretty good. 302 for plus two. Oh wait. Hang on. I think they're 331. Pretty good. I have to remember to get um, Lloyd's shield ring after this. Quite open. Now, this is interesting, because the Halberd's moveset is like, it's it's charged moveset, you spin, it's a massive area, so I'm curious, how many does this hit of the beacons? Like, if I just put my ass right here and just go, oh yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. That is sweet. Oh my god. Did you not be a bitch?
It's a very, very narrow weapon. Like, its hitbox is not large. That's definitely a more downside of it. Right. Oh, I should probably get the last talisman. Never mind, we can't actually get it. We have enough souls. After these dudes, we'll grab it. Three sixty three. It's pretty good. Sixty three is not bad. I'm surprised I didn't. doing how did that hit me And phase one is bad in this fight. Oh my god. Did I just like animation cancel? What the fuck was that? Or oh, this game's backstab is so bad. Bro, what is this game's backstab? It's so bad. It's <laughs> such a bad backstab. Why? Okay, we will make our way to Firelink. Go to Firelink to grab the talisman. <clears throat> or the ring, sorry. And it's not a it's super important ring, but it's nice to have. Also, if I just do this. Okay, so we do want to upgrade five more stuff. I think we should just do that now. Might as well. It's not like I need to, um, what's it called? Uh, it's not like I don't need one hand this weapon anytime soon. We only need to one hand for Pontiff. The rest of the fights are all just two-handed action. Speaking of one-handing, why the fuck? So I reckon with uh, that ring, we can probably stay at 20, um, health, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, my noggin is not that big. Let me through. bad boy surely there's a way I can jump over like if I come from something let me jump over it please the best part about the demon ruins goddamn railings there's like shit everywhere there's like, the, like these rocks here on the edge you can jump over the railing it makes it so easy and this in this area it's just like no nah, I don't think you will Did my FP bar just replenish itself? Or disappear or something? What the fuck was that? Why? Weird. What, what did it just do? Probably should have made a save state, but we'll... Be crazy if that sword just suddenly disappeared. E later, alligator. All right, sweet. Yeah, well, there's, there's not much to say about Walnut. It's just such a gimmick fight that you can't really say anything. But I can say, money. We might be able to two hand this now. I mean, one hand it. Maybe. Because what, 40 strength, two hand is 60. 66 is 99. I don't have to level up, honestly. We're gonna get, if we, I mean, we might as well level up to 25 health. Eventually. Let's see if this can stagger the dog. Certainly can. Oh. Just die peacefully. I don't want you chasing me when I'm down the bottom. Much of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Is that Anna Wombo there? Yes, it is. Where's the lift? That's the stairs there. It just looks so distant. Is that like a skybox or something? So it's just not rendered? So, like, for performance? Okay, it is. Oh, it was something. I don't, what, that is not supposed to be there. I can see some texturing. In there. 
head. I mean, we could go for... Like, what level are we? 42. So we have 23 more levels. 5 levels into... 10 levels into... Strength. 5 levels into health. 5 levels into more endurance. Maybe? More endurance could be nice. Speaking of endurance, I should have probably walked. That's correct here. Same there's no friendly fire. They just be burning the shit out of each other. Still yet to use a dark weapon as well. We've used magic, fire, and lightning, but we have no dark weapon. Is there any dark weapons in the main game? The boss souls? And just kill me, bro. I literally don't care. Is there actually any dark weapons? In that could go away, go away, go away, go away. Boss soul. Orion's great sword is fire. Oh, actually, that makes sense. That's physical. Storm curve, so I'm guessing this is lightning? No, it's just physical. Okay. The Violent Great Sword is fire and physical. No, there isn't. Rose of Ariando. Also physical. Breed Scythe. That's magic, isn't it? Magic and physical. The Frayed Blade is it. The only dark boss weapon. Interesting. That is very interesting. But the Freight Blade does do bleed. Which is kind of cool. How many weapons are there in this game that... ...have status effects but aren't a... ...a Titanite. Or like a, a, a Titanite scale or a Twinkling Titanite weapon. How many are there? I'm kind of tempted to do a video on that. That could be fun. Do some runs with the um, status effect weapons. I guess Arstor Spear would count as well, because that's a poison weapon. Hmm. That'd probably be the thing of me just going through all the weapons, like all the bleed weapons in the game, being like, okay, this, 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 and this, and this, and this are normal, but all of these ones aren't. These are all spicy. It's like some weird sphere around us that renders stuff. You can see it on the roof up there. The stuff like comes into focus. I wonder if anything outside of that sphere is just super low resolution and that's why they make it blurry so it actually looks nice. Very interesting way of doing things, I have to admit. If that's what it is doing. Like just for performance. Um, what version of the game do I use? I use the latest, 15.2. When I make the video, I'm going to have to backtrack the version to like 13 or something because no clip and no c and free cam don't work in the speed engine table right now. So I'm going to have to use a much older version of the game. I'm curious. It's just the worst. Skill is so bad. I can't leave the game. It just never leaves me. Let me leave the game. Fuck, I hate it. Oh my god.
No, I want an Ember because it's just gonna summon a dickhead again. Or Ember after we get to the bonfire. He's such a pain in the ass, he really fucking is. Did your hitbox just get like caught or something? Do you have the cheat engine table? Uh try and find it. Uh away from me. Buddy? I hate God, the backstab is so bad in this game. Good game. I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> I know they're gonna jump through the fucking thing. I'm just gonna get absolutely mauled to death. I wasn't supposed to attack him <laughs> at all. I don't know I'm here or something. They do. Huh. I just, they just can't send me so they don't suck me dry.
Finally, safety. Reassurance. Why did you run down to me like that? So rushed. Okay, why the fuck did the game just tweak? I press Y and then it parries. Oh, that didn't hit me. No idea how. Like, how did that hit me? Like, oh my god, this dude's hitbox is so awful! Turn, skip turn. Nice and simple, a Yorm fight. Quick and easy. Wait, not Elden Ring. How would, indeed. His damage seems alright so far. It seems like a pretty basic strength weapon though. I don't know if I need to get to 40 strength for it to really start shining, but so far it's like barely basic. Four ten attack parrot plus three. Like it's just I, I honestly think the Hollow Slayer's greatsword could be better than this. Like it's it's not amazing. It's reach though. The reach is good and it's a charge attack for how because it's the halberd is really good. Leaf. Is that like another halberd? <clears throat> yeah, I, this it's like it's it's it, the thing is because the halberd is reach and its charge attack are really good for cloud crowd clearing. Like the deacons fight, I'd kill like ten at a time with the charge attack. It was really satisfying actually, <laughs> but um, its damage is just very average. It's physical only, so it's nice to have that. But it is it's very just basic damage. 
Yeah, 271. Like the better weapons we're doing 300. Dragon Slayer's Great Axe is doing 900. For whatever reason. It's stance damage is alright, or poise damage, I guess it's called in this. Bad idea. I'm dead. Yep. Told you. Yeah, the problem with the charge attack is like, oh, you want to use it in a fight? Sorry. It's it's not a it's not a fucking boss move set. I accidentally made the save state with the shield on my boot. The skill is... Oh, I don't know. The skill on this weapon is it's weird. It's such a weird skill. Like, it honestly would have been substantially better to have something like just simple like Warcry or something on this. But yeah, I noticed when fighting like NPC invasions and stuff, it was it's been good in like just the NPCs because it like st it completely knocks them on their ass. If you get the follow-up though. And the follow-up is really hard to do because its timing is weird. Like it seems like you'd think you'd have to press it at the end of the skill, right? Because it's a follow-up. But you have to press it at the beginning. Like you press L2 and then you hold R2. It's it's weird. It's very, very strange how it does it. How it handles it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Idiots.
Okay. What the fuck happened? Oh my god, the lock on. You're just gonna scream. Is it just, uh, do you call it a halberd just because it's long, or do you call it a halberd because it has the same moveset or something? Like? That illusion, thank you for the raid. Welcome everyone. This has a great sword in the name. So it's, it's an actual hal halberd. Can't stay, don't first play it through. Alrighty. Yay. You choose life or death? Present death. Uh oh. There's two. Oh fuck. <laughs> I did not realize there was two dudes. I didn't realize the other one followed me. Fine. We just won't deal with them. Hey man. Gonna... You know, just kind of head on out because <laughs> I'm not dealing with you, you 6,000 HP motherfucker. Alright, let's load up the weapon. At 66 strength, this weapon's heavy infusion reaches 599 AR, two handed 549. Wait, with the weapon I'm using right now? With this halberd, is that what you? No, with this spa. Wait, so split leaf greatsword is a halberd. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> of course. Where is it from? Is it a main game or a ring city item? Greg heat. So it's a it's a ring city. Ring shit ring shitty? Of course. I forgot to send the elevator down. Fuck off. Oh fuck. My autopilot brain didn't autopilot hard enough. Fuck. Alright, well, I guess we're going back here. Damn it! Why am I so fucking retarded? Because <laughs> I normally grab the bloody... I didn't even open the door! Oh. We can just run through there, we don't have to grab anything, that's fine, it should take us like a minute. Oh, and you are just gonna be an absolute bitch, aren't you? Oh fuck. The second I come back, he's gonna immediately blow fire again. 40, 15, 4, 8, 1, 6, 6, 10. So that's for this weapon. Current weapon.
Is there a way to fall off this without taking damage? Why? Why are they making you take like 10 fall damage? <laughs> <laughs> Me eye throwing the ball in Lernia. God don't goddamn Hogwarts. Might as well just do this anyways. Fuck the lift, we don't need no lift, we got save states. Alright. This damage is gonna be okay. <laughs> uh, the damage is gonna be alright. I, I can't, I'm not expecting anything massive, like, oh, 478, you know, that's not bad. Mm, bad charge attack. Bad boy. Good reach. I want to do something. Yes. The pennies. Now we get to go fuck a pontiff. Yeah, see, strength doesn't really add that much, does it? Uh. Alrighty. I mean, we're nearly at the end, anyways. Pretty much longer. Because when I'm doing two weapons today, I got shits to do and things to upload, videos to edit, and shorts. Indeed it is. Tomorrow is the cripple's day. We've only got six weapons to go after this with main game, and then we have. Okay, I still we still need to have the conversation of Valahart. That conversation still needs to happen. Is it a soul weapon or not? A boss soul. Vextra says it is. Vextra is a dog shit website, so I'll check the uh, other wiki to see what it says about boss soul weapons. If it does have a page on it, I'm gonna drink this because defense up. Oh my god, those spells do frostbite, of course they do! Yeah, just see what wiki dots, see if wiki dot has a boss sort weapon page. If it does, what does it include? If it doesn't include the, the um, twin princes combined weapon, that's fine. We're, I'm still gonna do that, that's gonna happen regardless. But just about with the um, other one. What's it called? Yeah, the Valor Heart. And also, if Half Light drops a weapon. If it says anything about Half Light. Half. Oh, oh, I don't even know what the name is. A dickhead. Ring City Cocksucker.
See, in my eyes, I won't do it. It's not something that drops from a boss soul. You don't. A boss soul is something you get from a boss soul transposition at the dude in the home hub, whatever it's called. Alright, those runes are lost forever. Four forty six. Okay, your attack power isn't actually. Oh, okay, your boss damage is fucking insane. Do not phase transition. done. Damn, Pond Defender gives like 28k. Oh. I mean, at the beginning, we could host nothing on being a boss with him. Yeah. So if I, I get bombarded here. Boss soul item. See, at the beginning of the video, I could easily just make a note saying the. What's it called? I think the issue is, right? Oh, does it? I want to check something. What does it upgrade with? It upgrades a Twinkling Titanite. It's not a boss soul weapon. We won't do it. It, it, it. You don't get it from a boss soul. It, it doesn't upgrade with Titanite scales. It's a boss weapon, not a boss soul weapon. Uh, at the beginning of the video, I make a note saying, Valahar's not included because it's not a boss soul weapon. You, get it, you don't get it through the soul's transposition. You don't upgrade it with tight my scales. Although, obviously, this is the exception with the um, candlestick. And also, I can make a, make a note about the Ancient Wyvern as well, because he just doesn't have a boss soul. Maybe. I mean, I'll see. Once I, once I start writing the script, I'll... For the time being, that's how it's been. We're not doing it. It's not a boss soul weapon. Not up there with Titanite's today. They really like coding Anna Londa with just a bunch of black knights. 
I put them everywhere they possibly can, so it just wreaks the most havoc. Cool. Going to the game off. Dark's Council is number four on the boss of weapons on top of it. Is that because you can cast spells with it? What? I need reasons. I need to know why. It's probably just because they never use it as an actual weapon and rather use it as a staff. Even then, I I will compare. I need to um like upgrade to like forty int and grab all the staffs and just see what they're um. Well, I should go to the int soft cap. I should go to sixty and then see what their spell soft cap is. Like just see how much like actual damage they do, and see if it actually even compares to the rest of the staffs. But you said it was like lower than the starting staff, didn't you? Like if you use this sorcerer, start with sorcerer class, it was worse than that. Ridiculous. I swear to god, I just heard fucking Tom screaming from Tom and Jerry, like that sound effect, like outside somewhere. Bro, there's no way. What's first? No. Yes. Violent greatsword. <laughs> I mean, we haven't got to it yet, but I've used it a little bit. It's all right. The violent greatsword is all right at best. Maybe once I play through the whole game, once we get to it, it'll be like, oh, you know, this is actually pretty good. But from what I used it, Gundy's Halberd at 2. Man, it's such a whack list. They must have tested it on, like, one... I, how do you... Oh, I don't know. PvP, maybe? Maybe they tested it on PvP? What are you doing? <laughs> Can we get through a fight without you doing fucking arrows? <laughs> oh hell no! <nah. laughs> I ain't letting you do that. Yorm's shield. See, we're not doing the shields. Because we're playing through the game. We can't really... I mean, obviously we can. I'm, I have a shield run coming up. I'm going to do a shield only run. But... The funny door shield. But... Uh, uh, you see? There's issues. That's another thing I'm also going to have to include into the intro of the video when I make it, is like... This is not a, like, a normal weapon. We're only going to be comparing normal weapons. The shields, the bows, and the spells are not in this.
Move. I don't, how much does this weigh? I don't think four grand is enough for us to level this up. Oh, I'm not going to put you here, am I? Nope. Yeah, this dude's just bugging me. Who the fuck is that? There's just too many enemies here. There's no way. Bring that defense. Like, maybe if I killed the Crystal Sage at the bottom. Not here, though. Not at the top when there's a fucking trillion enemies just at like, every corner of the earth. Hopefully we can try and get this dude to jump off the edge. If he does that, then we can... That's going to be enough money to upgrade. I think it's going to be like six grand or something to upgrade this. Oh. Jump off the edge. Go. That's not the edge. Is this a soul or something? Okay. That should be enough. How much money are you? Two, three grand? Yeah, that works too. <laughs> 20 grand? Okay. I love the second you get to um, the castle and here, the pro like the amount of money you get for killing enemies and shit, is just like is so much higher. It, it increases so much. All right, twin princes, easy fight. Right, surely with a plus five. What's his output at a plus five? Actually, let's let's see. Five nineteen, five thirty one. Not bad. It's not really. It's not. It's pretty good. For fi for physical damage only, doing five nineteen, it's pretty good. But I don't know how that translates into actual damage because. Well, the, the Moonlight Greatsword went up to like 700 or something at plus 5, which is pretty impressive. Um, but obviously that damage is split mainly into magic. So against things like Aldrich, Beacons, and Crystal Sage, that damage was awful. Absolutely awful. <coughs> Not safe. Uh, how do, you, uh, how do you open the door? Okay, we don't know how to open doors anymore. Plays Elden Ring once. Doesn't know how to play this game anymore. Great. Fucking splendid, isn't it? Chasm of Death. You can't have a FromSoft elevator without having just an endless, like an unending pit beneath the elevator. It has, there has to be one.
Ugh. Oh. Alright, now cut your weapon. Fellas, I'm gonna need you to just lay off, please. Alright, um... 132, not bad for Twin Princes. And that's what you get for using a physical only weapon, easy to buff. Good damage. Get rid of that. Wow, we're only level 61. We're actually quite a low level. This doesn't... Make sure I make it a safe state. It... Um... I don't know. It's... Weird. I don't know why I'm such a low. Surely I can upgrade five times then from this fight. 560 attack power. I accidentally went away from the fucking. Decent repost damage. Not horrible. It's not like not like some of the numbers we've seen with some of the other weapons. Do you reckon we can do the funny? Okay, the skill is so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it just is. The Duke of the Lord. <sighs> Bet you we're gonna need 10 grand. Oh, we got it. Hm. Never mind then. Alright. Soul of Cinder time. Soul of Cinder might be alright because the weapon's reach is fairly decent. <sighs> Might be one of the fastest runs so far. Maybe add like five minutes or so because I did fuck up something at the beginning, the timer.
That is... My brain just like shut off. I'm not gonna lie. Unlocked? Yeah, I, can't, I literally can't dodge. This is such a shit fucking fight, bro. He's not gonna buff himself though. Alright, there he goes. Oh my god, it's such a shit fight, this fight it really is. It's such a bad fight. God. I it, surely there's a mod that has fixed the hitboxes, or a hitbox is not like a changeable thing with um the enemies when they make a mod, because it takes so that'd be engine thing. I don't know how much engine is involved in making a mod. It really is. Like, looks wise, music wise, this is like the best they've ever done. Elven Beast is probably above it, but gameplay wise, I honestly think Elven Beast is better than this fight. At least Elven Beast hitboxes work. Hit me. I just, it's so bad. Such a bad fight. Like, and just the fucking ah, oh, the game itself is so fucking shit. Ugh. Absolute gug reaction. My back's sweating. <laughs> Ugh, my shirt's like actually wet. Wow, you're back on the last boss of the last weapon for today. How huge is that? <laughs> Honestly, this thing is alright. It's not great. This fella's being a retard though, and he's also quite resistant to its damage. Okay, what hit me? The 
Wait, can you give me an Iron Ping to heal? This is not a, a robot. I want to be robot. Look at him. All right, Will Smith. Ooh, I did not mean to consume two. Money. Yeah, the weapon's quite fast. I probably could have done two hits in there. I'll do it here, because he doesn't attack right away. risk. I'm out of meds? Oh, this is such a shit fight. Come on, do your shit. Surely we try and use this shit fucking skill. Nope, oh, it's too shit. It's too shit. The skill is so fucking bad on this weapon. It's like only good for NPCs and that's it. And like other, I imagine PvP. But literally you have to dodge once and that's it. The skill's useless. So like in PvP it won't be because you can just think. Alrighty. I mean the weapon, where would I place it? Let me look at the list. Okay, stop spinning. Roll catching. Yeah, you could roll catch it. It's it's because it's long. It's such a long attack. But the problem is if you roll but to dodge it, like if I do it, see the charge up? If someone does, if you're next, so say you're close to someone when they do, they're using this weapon. They do that. You have to like walk to the right of them. And that's it. It's useless. That's, you have to walk slightly to the right and that's it. And then just dodge the, like, the follow-up. You have to dodge that. Because that can spin around. So, like, if you have a brain... If you have an inkling of, like, brain cells... One hand? What? That? Or... Because the skill... I don't even think I'd place it above Vorts, honestly. Dancers, maybe. The problem is Dancers is Dancers are really fast, and you can boost it with uh, the Pontiff's left eye. I think it is. This one. Pontiff's right eye. Talking about the follow-up? You mean the... That? Like the, the swing around. It's not better than the Moonlight Greatsword. Not better than the Greatsword of Judgment. One is Holy Sword. No, because the Greatswords have such a good moves. And super that one's super light and it scales easily and did good damage. But this did have this the weapon had good repost damage. Okay, if I actually go to what was the one repost damage on Twin Princes? Get out of the and teleport. Oh. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah, see, the Halberd has really good repost. Even though it's critical, is only 100. It has really good repost damage. I might put it above Volnir's. I'll have to look into that a bit more. I put it, I put it above Volnir's below the Great Sword of Judgment. Um.
people panic like a motherfucker. Yeah. See, I, I feel like it's a good reason to use it. So, like, the notes I have are, it's got low stamina use. It uses, like, no stamina. The skill is good for PvP because it's stun lock. But it should, it should do stun lock or roll catch. And it's got good reach. It's a strength only weapon. Well, strength, I should say strength mainly weapon. I don't know. There's not much else to say about it, really. It's, I should have a good repost. Thank you. But still, 100 crit. What else? There was nothing really about it. It's just a simple weapon that just scales entirely for strength, easy to buff. Like, it's not the fanciest thing in the world. Well, these are just basic notes. Like, there's a re it's basic because, you know, Crystal Sage Rapier. And my notes for it are just shitty fucking poking stick. It, that's like fairly basic notes. Longest, yeah, it's it's really long. Its reach is really good, so I'm gonna have to talk about that. It was good, it's roll as well. Like unlike the spears, the roll actually has reach. The charge is good for crowd clearing. Deacons was really good with that charge. Mm. I'll say this. I'll say. I'll say. Check with Warmers. I'll. I'll give it a bit more. It was fast. Oh, that's because I started the timer like eight minutes later. I started it like after Vort's fight or something. <laughs> But it was, it was fast. It was definitely fast. It's 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 fast because um strength weapons. Well, not strength, just physical weapons are easy to buff. Like, I don't have to go super out of the way. Like, it's the same reason the fire weapons are fast. Because the fire clutch ring is, like, right at the beginning of the game. Like, I, it's on the way on, like, my normal path. But it was fast. I say check with Walnirs and check with Walnirs and judgment. Like, uh, yeah. One stream closer, bro. I already have the streams planned for like the next two months. Baldur's Gate 3 is not one of them. <laughs> Once I've finished the, all these boss soul weapons, it's straight, it's finished this fist only. Once I finish fist only, it's going to be like convergent stuff and more Dark Souls 3 runs and... I mean, Geometry Dash 2.2 will be out within the next probably two or three weeks, so... And then it's also the Dark Souls 3 Convergence, I want to try that. I'll probably do some runs on Convergence. How about Pokemon? Pokemon's literally just like summons only Elden Ring. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's, that's literally the can. That was the Barbie run that I did. Alrighty, well, I'm going to leave it there. I've got some videos to edit and shit to upload and things to do and whatnot. Um, I'll be back to tomorrow to do the, uh, what's it called? Weapons? The Twin Prince's weapons. That's going to be fun. I'm going to be doing all three of those. So that's 18 weapons completed. He's sick. Uh, it's cinders or something, isn't it? Yeah, cinders and... Convergence. I want to try. I definitely want to try Convergence because the Convergence mod for Elden Ring is absolutely amazing, and I cannot wait to do like ten more runs on it. Yeah. So, so yeah, Cinders and Convergence are both things I want to do. If you find if there is another like big um overhaul mod, then yeah, let me know. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing Twin Princes. Um, that's gonna be fun. Anyways, I'm off. Peace.